Hello YouTube, we're shooting here. I'm out at the Mount Bellevue City Park Pond this morning. It's a Sunday morning. Brought out two medium heavy combos. I have a little Guggen Squad Slim Jig tied on right now. Sorry if the lens is a little bit fogged up. The condensation is a little bit weird right now. And we have a Biospawn big 10.5 inch Junebug Curly Tail Worm Texas rigged and pegged. I think I'm going to start off with this one right now. 7 a.m. Let's get out there. Let's let's start fishing. No long intro today. You guys stay tuned. Oh, we got a big bite. Yes. I didn't even know that fish was on. No way. He bit it on the landing, you guys. That was a big jump, too. Ooh. Bass number one of the day. Look at that. Look at that. Relax yourself, relax yourself. Luckily, he's only hooked on the side of the mouth. Well, he's angry too. He's angry. That is a nice one. He wanted that curly tail worm. Look at that. Pop that right out of you. I think I'm gonna get a quick weight on her. It's probably two something. Definitely two something. Let me get a weight on her. Wow. Luckily, we got one. This pond can be pretty tough sometimes. We zeroed up the scale. Uh, it's going to be a one. Yep, two on the dot. No, two pound, one ounce. Still a nice one. We'll take it. Bass number one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, let's let her back in. Look at that. Very nice fish. Thank you for biting. Bass number one. There she goes. All right, you guys. Decided to switch spots. The other pond just wasn't going to do it. The bite was very tough. That's how Mount Bellevue City Park Pond is. It's very tough. Luckily, we did manage one bite. Now I'm out here again. I have a ton of confidence at these ponds right now. Lately, at least, the bite has been on. I like this area here because it's not a ton of grass, but the other banks do have a lot of grass. I think I'm going to keep throwing that lipless. I tied on a Bill Lewis rattle trap chrome with the blue back. Hopefully we can get a bite on that. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys. Let's see if we can make it happen. Want to catch a bass. Wow, there's an ant on my finger. These ants and mosquitoes are all bad today. Like I was saying, see if we can catch one of the lipless crankbait. I think it's been a while since I've caught one on a lipless. Oh, there's a turtle there. I don't want to get that turtle. Okay, he came back up. He was like on the surface of the water, then he ducked down. There we go. There we go. First cast. Either he followed it up or he was right there and I slammed by him. Look at that. First cast here. We got one on the lipless. Oh, bring him on in. Look at that. Not a bad one at all. We'll take it. It's actually about a pound and a half. Oh, yeah. You always got to wait a little. Make sure they're not going to shake on you. Hooked on the side of the mouth right here. Oh. There we go. That was pretty quick. Maybe the lipless is going to be the deal today. 
bath number two of the day let's put him back in there he goes all right you guys so far it seems like the fishing is pretty tough i threw around a lipless crankbait caught that first fish earlier here threw around a regular crankbait nobody wanted it i threw a swim jig no bites on that i'm going back to that bill lewis rattle trap that chrome and blue let's see if we can get another fish on it no way i just fed my lines through here and everything flipped actually i know how to fix this pretty quickly i'm gonna have to undo this which is pretty tight Look at that life hacks right there that's how you fix it if you ever fed wrong through that first guide make sure you get that back on there tight though now that lipless crankbait's definitely at the bottom of the pond reel in our slack line start swimming it yeah it feels like it has grass already we were down there. Oh! No way! He came off! That was a big bass, you guys. I was swimming it so fast. He happened to be swimming by. He swiped at it. Did not get hooked very well. Wow. I was swimming that bait so fast when he came for it. Man, I wish we got that bass. There we go. There we go. Stay pinned. Bam! Look at that one. That's a nice one. Bass number three, finally. Oh, he got hooked on the bottom of the mouth. Oh, that's a nice one. I had a feeling the lipless would be the only bait that's going to get us bites. Just because that's what we got him on earlier. I'm not going to get a weight on her. That's most likely a pound, pound and a couple of ounces. Not bad. Let's put her back in. Finally, that lipless crankbait does it again. There she goes. All right, you guys, that's going to be all for today's video. Overall, it was a pretty tough day of fishing. I mean, at least we caught some fish. End of the day with three bass, I believe. So earlier we were at the Mount Bellevue City Park Pond. We caught one bass on that bio spawn curly tail worm june bug pretty nice worm 10 and a half inch or 10.5 inch worm june bug small tungsten weight and pegged they bit that lure on the fall and then at this pond i ended up catching two on that chrome quarter ounce chrome with blue bill lewis rattle trap crankbait and we missed two other ones i wish i got those other two we would have ended the day with like five fish i believe and it would have been four on the lipless and one on the curly tail. But we ended up with two on that lipless and one on the curly tail. Not too bad. At least we caught some fish. We had fun and we got bites. I definitely do feel like I did figure out a pretty good bite with that lipless crankbait. I mean, there was bass that were chasing it up to the bank. And that's where I missed some of them. If they had bit it farther out there in the pond, I think we would have caught them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.